Good afternoon, fellow cannabis enthusiasts. It's Corey with Corey Cooks Cannabis. How y'all today? If you're not feeling zen, of course, pick up your pen. We're back to the pen. For so many different... <laughs> wow. <laughs> For so many different reasons. One, because I enjoy coughing. That is always a good time. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Um, one, I don't get as high. Um, I've been having lots of fun with you guys by smoking out of my bong and stuff. But I've been super levitated while cooking. And although it's turning out, I'm afraid that it's going to start to not turn out. I don't know. I don't trust myself anyway. So um, we're back to the pen. And um, I don't mind it. Uh because I can get my peach rings fix all the time, because I love peach rings. It's such a good high. Um, I like pens for in between. Um, you know, when you're just starting to come down from a joint, but you don't really want to smoke another, so you just take a couple of quick puffs off of that, and you get levitated again until you're ready to have another joint or whatever. How are you all? I am super fantastic, as always. I know I always say that, and it's... I, I, hope it doesn't come across as fake or anything. I am super fantastic when I bring you guys another episode. I just love doing this with you guys so much. And our community is growing. It is getting bigger. I have had so many new subscribers lately. Welcome to the channel. I am excited for this week's recipe. It's a different sort of recipe. Um, I was looking for different recipes without butter because I had run out of butter, but, um, a viewer, oh, a very special, special viewer sent me two of these. I would love to show you the other one, but soon as I got it, I decarboxylated the whole thing and I made two pounds of butter and four cups of flour out of it the generosity of this subscriber and he has asked me to remain anonymous oh but he has sent me four ounces and he's just said use it in good health and bake a lot and you know what that's what we're going to do guys and this uh strain is congo um, I reached out to him to find out what the other strain was called. He didn't mark the package. I'm going to assume it's Congo as well. I've never tried this strain. I do know it is a hybrid, though. So I'm super excited. We are probably going to save this for our um, tincture, um, at least an ounce of it. We're going to save for a tincture. And because of today's recipe, I figured the other half, other ounce, I'm probably going to... I ran out of an ingredient and it was um, really dependent on today's uh, recipe. Well, not really. We were going to infuse two different ways, but I had run out of coconut oil. So at least I got a little bit of extra cannabis so I can decarboxylate and make myself more coconut oil. But today's recipe called for three tablespoons and I thought I had some infused left. I didn't. I, at least I had some in the fridge. <laughs> Thank goodness. And that's probably why I had it because I was going to have to make some more. Um, so unfortunately, today's recipe is only going to be infused the one way. And I hope it works out. So I've been, you know, dancing around what today's recipe is. Today's recipe is um, banana muffins, banana chocolate muffins. And the, it, the recipe was really interesting. Like I said, it had coconut oil, which was the ingredient I was looking for other than butter. Anything with oil or butter I was looking for because, like I said, I didn't have butter until my wonderful viewer sent me this beautiful package. And I didn't even actually smoke any of it. I should have sampled it. But he just said cook with good health. And maybe I'll sample the Congo. Anyway, let's get back to this rambling on Corey. My goodness, we, we do this week after week. Um, so in this recipe, we're actually going to also use coconut flour. This is a naturally 
um, no granulated sugar recipe. We are not adding any sort of granulated sugar. All the sweetness is going to happen from our coconut oil and our coconut flour and our bananas. So to start off with, we have uh, three, uh, four, no, I have four medium sized bananas I mashed up in here. And then we need in this uh, bowl right now, we need three room temperature eggs. That was a poor crack. Ah, see, three eggs. And we're gonna blend this all together with the hand mixer. I'm having a hard time cracking eggs. We're gonna add our coconut oil, melted coconut oil, and a third of a cup of peanut butter. Now this is our infusion. This is our homemade peanut butter. It asks for natural peanut butter, and you can't get any more natural than homemade cannabis infused peanut butter. And the ironic part is our peanut butter is actually infused with coconut oil. Um, so that's kind of exciting. The whole recipe will kind of go in together. Now this is in a cup, a measuring cup. This is all I had left. And the recipe calls for two, uh, what? Two thirds of a cup. I can't remember. Two thirds of a cup because we're going to put some actually directly into the batter um, when we're cooking it. It's kind of a different recipe. All right. So I'm just going to tuck this aside. Um, this is all the peanut butter I have in my house. I do not have any other peanut butter. So we're just going to have to kind of make do with uh, the amount we have. Um, so it's going to be a little under. But in the actual recipe, we will have the right amount. It's more for a garnish, um, the rest of the peanut butter. All right. Just going to mind the noise of the mixer. And we'll be right back as soon as this is all blended and creamy. Oh, I forgot our teaspoon of vanilla. Stay. I have to run my cord across. You guys know the hazards of my house. I've been island shopping. I want to get a bigger island. I don't have a, a large kitchen. So if I get a larger island where I can add seating, it would just be perfect for me. And I've been island shopping. So hopefully before the year end, I will get a new island. All right. Back to it. All right, I think that's creamed together very nicely. Now you can add, um, I'm just gonna put this over here. You can add into this chocolate uh, semi-sweet or uh, unsweetened chocolate chunks. But I'm going to keep this all natural sugars as possible um, for my husband because uh, he he's a diabetic. And I'd love him to try one of these muffins. The recipe just sounded so delicious. All right. So we also need a third of a cup of cocoa powder. And a third of a cup of our coconut flour. Oops. Oh, come on, open up. There we go. Third of a cup of coconut flour. So if you are yourself going to try and keep up on the sugar, so far we're at about 8 grams of sugar. Now keep in mind, that's going to be over 12 muffins. So here's 3 quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, I forgot on my list, baking powder. I hope I have enough. Oh, I got more than enough. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, where's my leveler? Of 
quarter teaspoon of salt. And we'll start to mix that all together as well. Oops, there's the lid. I'm gonna use the whisk for this part. Get this all nicely blended together. I'm not a very fan of this whisk. It's really floppy. It's definitely no metal whisk. I should use my metal whisk. Um, I use these ones because I have some dishes that are, um, you know, stainless steel or not stainless steel. Uh, what do you call it? Teflon? I don't know. Scratch guard? I don't know. All right, so there's our mix ready to go into our um, cups. Now, as far as I understand with this recipe, which I'll have a link in the comments for you. Okay, from what I understand with this recipe, we're going to take a, a scoop of the mix. Small scoop. Let that settle in. And then we're going to take a dollop of peanut butter, and we're going to settle that over top of it, and then we're going to add more batter to the mix. Not more batter to the mix. Oh, my goodness. I, I even, you know, you know, I even said that I wouldn't get as stoned with my, uh, with my <laughs> pen. Um, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> All right, that one's a little full. So if I don't have enough peanut butter, that's okay. We'll omit that one. Oops. And um, like I said, you can put some chocolate chunks in here. That's totally up to you if you're not worried about um, sugar and diabetes and all of that. Um, by all means. Uh, put some chocolate chunks in it. Make it fun. Um, I might do that for half of them, but really, I I think it's fine without it. We got that nice banana flavor in there. We got that chocolate flavor. We got that peanut butter. So I'm just going to take a small dollop and put it right in there. Oh, I think I might have enough peanut butter if I just take small dollops. Give you that shot of peanut butter in the middle. I'm going to put some on here. I got more than enough. I, I bet you I can go back over and draw, put a dollop in a, each one again. Well, not each one. We'll see which one got robbed. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh, you can still smell the cannabis in the peanut butter. I put it in the measuring cup so I always knew how much I had left per uh, cup. And now we're not going to miss any of this peanut butter because this peanut butter is cannabis. And we do not want to miss a smidge of it. Don't leave a smidge behind. All the goodness. Um, if you don't know how to make peanut butter, I'll have a link up in the up in the corner here um, on our recipe where we did make uh, the peanut butter. I believe the recipe that we did do um, when we did that video, we used olive oil. But this one I know for a fact is coconut oil. I wanted to try the peanut butter and see what the taste difference was between olive oil and coconut oil. And... Uh, so this one I know for a fact is coconut. Now we're just going to put a little bit more of that mix on top. Hide that peanut butter. Just going to put a little bit on here. It's not going to be hidden that well. All right, cannabis enthusiasts, this is what uh, the end result looks like. They are definitely going to be uneven in cook time, so I'm going to really have to babysit them. I think I'm going to put these side into the back, seeing how the back is hotter. Um, I did not measure it out properly. 
uh, unfortunately, but I'm sure they'll still turn out just as beautiful. So yes, this is our peanut butter banana chocolate muffins infused with our cannabis peanut butter. And we're going to top this cannabis enthusiast into the oven 350 degrees from 16 to 21 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, I will probably be on the higher end of, uh, lower end today because my house is super hot. Um, why I decided to bake in 30 degrees, I can never tell you. Anyway, cannabis enthusiasts, we will be back in about an hour when these have cooled and we will take a look at them. All right. Until then, please always remember, stay zen. Bye. Hi, welcome back, cannabis enthusiasts. Remember, if you're not feeling zen, pick up your pen. Any chance I can pick up my pen now because, you know, I love peach rings. I highly re recommend it if you get uh, vaping. Use uh, peach rings. Anyway, guys, we are back with the results of our chocolate banana peanut butter muffins. Look at that. Look at the peanut butter trying to escape there. Oh, so yummy. I have already taken this video once. My mic has died. Um, I didn't realize it until I was editing the video. So this video is going to be up late on Sunday. Uh, I am so sorry, guys. But I have tried it. It is good. Um, a couple critiques on this recipe, I will um, say. It is super moist, so maybe I could scale back a little bit on my banana. Maybe I didn't really measure the banana. It said three to four large banana. I mashed up four banana. But it did say 380 grams of banana. I actually never weighed it out. So that could account for some of the moisture. Um, the other critique I have is the cocoa it has that artificial cocoa taste um next time i and i will do this recipe again i really do enjoy this muffin it is a very nice tasting muffin um i'm going to put a shot of espresso really give that um cocoa a really nice um cocoa chocolate taste um if you don't know a, a espresso or um a shot of uh what do you call it? Instant, instant coffee. A teaspoon of instant coffee also will work. I always keep thinking that I need to get this stuff in my house. I don't eat, drink, eat. I don't drink instant coffee, so uh, I gotta put it on my list to have in the house so I could do something like that. Anyway, guys, I is a fantastic recipe. I will do it again. I just will do those two little critiques. And um, I'm sure the espresso will just enhance that chocolate taste. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Anyway, friends, until the next time. Please, always remember, stay zen. Bye.